ISIS is reportedly on the march again this morning. The Pentagon says American warplanes aren't enough to save the town of Kobani on the Syria-Turkey border. We're doing everything we can from the air to try to halt the momentum of ISIL against that town. But, uh, but that air power is not going to be alone, an, alone enough to save that, that uh, city. Local officials say more air attacks hit ISIS targets around Kobani overnight. A special American envoy and NATO secretary general are in Turkey this morning to urge that country to get more involved. Ali Williams is in Istanbul, Turkey, tracking the battle for Kobani. Good morning. There are reports today that the black flags of ISIS are already flying over a third of Kobani and that the Islamic extremists could be on the brink of seizing the entire town. That's despite U.S.-led airstrikes around Kobani, which have failed to stop the militants' advance. And if they capture the border town, that could give ISIS greater access to smuggled weapons and smuggled fighters. Now, more than 180,000 people have already fled over the last three weeks, seeking refuge across the border in Turkey. The Turkish parliament voted last month to allow military operations inside Syria and Iraq. And Turkey's government wants to set up a secure zone in northern Syria, in part to stem the tide of refugees that's coming across its border. But the country's foreign minister, Mevlut Cavusoglu, said today that Turkey cannot launch a ground operation by itself. Well, of course, President Obama has already ruled out a ground operation against ISIS. But the U.S. would like Turkey, which is a powerful, predominantly Muslim country, to play a more active role in the coalition against ISIS. Nora. All right, Holly, thank you.